Hey, welcome back, y'all. So one of my favorite features in Power Query is going to be Extract because it allows you to quickly take out exactly what you need out of a string within a text inside of a column. So you can either do this by Transform or Add Column, but we're going to do Transform, and we're going to simply click on Extract. Now we have different options here. Length is going to show me how many characters I have within the string. So we can just click on the Name column, for example. We're going to click on Extract. I click on length. Now it's just going to tell me the exact character count I have within that column, right? Let's undo that real quick. We're going to go back. We're going to go to extract again. We're going to do first characters now. So first characters can allow me to count how many characters I want to extract out of the text. So I'm going to just say seven, and then it's going to transform it. And you can see it remove that delimiter and anything thereafter. So now let's switch over to the employee ID. We're going to go back to extract. We're going to do last characters. So let's just say I want to keep the last four. So I'm going to press four up here, press OK. And now we have the last four for the employee ID only if we want to remove everything kind of before that. The next one we have is range. So let's just say, for example, we click on employee ID again. We do range. We want to change the start point. So start at the third character and then go up to the seventh character. And then now you have those values that you exactly want within that specified range. All right, so the next one we have is text before delimiter. So this one is going to ask you for the delimiter type. So we're actually going to put the underscore here. And now we can see it removed everything from the delimiter and thereafter. And the next one's going to be text after delimiter. So the same thing, just if we do the inverse. And then we have text between delimiters. So if you have two delimiters, kind of the text between them, right? So at the end of the day, this is going to help you clean your data, whether it's transforming that column or adding a new column. And then you can also use it to pull out the domain for an email, do it for something related to an ID number, or really any value that you want. But just keep in mind, you want to look at the same range. So as long as that column has the same type of value type within the column itself, you can apply the same rule for every single value within that column. Now, I personally love to do this because it helps me create an index if I don't have an index already, or it helps me just adjust a value that I already have. With that said, I hope this video is able to help you out, and thanks for watching, y'all.